It ended as dramatically as it started. Police closed in on Molinar's property in light armoured vehicles. Armed personnel had the highly dangerous job of entering the house. It's still rigged with explosives. They were uh, very deliberate and slow. Uh, we've all had the same intelligence around booby traps and explosives. Um, clearly in that type of situation you don't open things, move objects. They found Molinar's body barricaded in his bedroom and immediately evacuated the property. I'm unable to comment on how the deceased died or when he died. Those are both questions for the pathologist and the coroner who will determine ultimately the cause of death. The signs were there at 10.30 this morning that something drastic was about to happen. A formidable procession of armed police crossed the cordon, along with two light armoured vehicles. One was fitted with a grader. An ambulance completed the convoy. We entered the house with officers shortly after 11am this morning. That's the first time we had physically put police officers inside the house to search, and that is when we found them. The superintendent said that only two shots were fired by police during the entire siege. All the other fire came from Molinar. The superintendent revealed that the flurry of explosions shown in these pictures last night were police firing tear gas only ever fired two shots on the first day not long into uh, the operation. It is unconfirmed whether the a deceased was injured. Police refused to say when Molina last spoke to their officers but they thought it was sometime yesterday. 3 News was told he turned a gun on himself around 6 o'clock last night. It's a huge relief that no uh, other police officers were injured, no other members of the public were injured. It is still a tragedy for his family. Police are at a loss to understand Molinar's actions. They say they were completely out of proportion to what started as a routine cannabis warrant.